So this is the second part. Uh, in this part, I will try to explain on a very, from a very high level point of view, uh, the parallel programming, um, parallel programming operations with Alpaca for heterogeneous systems. Alpaca enables portability. The idea behind that is that you have an algorithm that you want to accelerate and you just ideally want to write this once independently of your target architecture and also independently of the available programming models for your target architecture. All you have to do is make a decision on your target platform during compilation. So if you uh, want to run your program on NVIDIA GPUs, you just add in a compiler flag or a compile time option that uh, your program should run on NVIDIA GPUs. However, if you should decide that you don't want NVIDIA GPUs, you want to use AMD GPUs instead, you simply have to choose another platform during compilation, uh, during, uh, compilation and that's it. You, uh, ideally, you don't have to do any more code changes. Apaka defines for this an abstract programming model, which gives you a unified API for all available accelerators. And uh, it utilizes C++14 and a lot of template meter programming to support uh, this range of architectures. So uh, Apaka offers a unified API to access CUDA hardware, to access HIP hardware, to access CPUs over OpenMP, to access CPUs over threading building blocks, and so on. All of this is hidden or abstracted away by Alpaca, and you have one API to access these different types of accelerators. Ideally, you write your algorithms independent of your chosen target architecture. Uh, on a basic level, this looks like this, that you just uh, define a task for a CPU or a GPU, this is uh, created. Uh, this is done by the create task kernel function of Apaka, and you uh, just put in the accelerator you want to run on. Uh, so in this example, I have, I'm creating a task for a CPU and one for a GPU. And so the only difference between those two is that I uh, pass the accelerator CPU or the accelerator GPU template parameter to this function. Uh, the, the kernel, which is our algorithm that we want to run on an accelerator, is the same for both cases. However, if you, are, uh, if you think that you still need to specialize for a specific architecture, because maybe a GPU needs different access patterns or optimization strategies than a CPU case, you still have the ability to specialize your kernels for a specific, ar specific architecture. So you can still write a kernel for a general case, which will run on any type of accelerator. And then you can also spe specialize your kernels for a specific accelerator. This will sacrifice portability, but might come with a performance increase. So how does Alpaca achieve all of this? One of the central concepts is the grid in Alpaca. Alpaca is ideal for data parallel algorithms, which means executing the same algorithm on different data elements. And uh, the so-called kernel is the sequence of commands forming the algorithm. And the important info here is that the algorithm is usually written on a per element level. So for example, if you want to do a lot of additions of two uh, digits in parallel, you will just write uh, A plus B equals C, and that will be your kernel. An alpaca thread, on the other hand, is the execution of this kernel for a single data element. All of the threads are executed in parallel and uh, more or less independent of each other. And the set of all threads uh, forms the grid. The grid is n-dimensional, so you can have one, two, or three dimensions on the grid. And each thread on the grid is assigned a unique index so that you can easily identify the thread you're running on and uh, the index in your uh, web domain. All the threads on the grid are able to communicate through global memory. However, this comes with a very high latency. So the memory access for communication is more or less rather slow. For better communication and synchronization, there's also uh, the block concept. So a grid is divided into independent blocks, which are all of equal size. There's only one block size on a grid. And each thread is assigned to exactly one block. 
Like on the grid, each thread has a unique index inside the block, and all threads inside a block are executed in parallel. They also have uh, the benefit that they can be synchronized. This is a difference to the grid, where threads running on the grid can't be synchronized on the global scale, but threads can be synchronized inside the block. Also, all threads inside a block can communicate through low latency shared memory. This memory is available to all threads in the same block. It's typically a lot, lot faster than global memory, but also a lot, lot smaller. There's not, a, not a, as much memory available as you would have global memory. To sum this up, Alpaca is ideal for data parallel algorithms. Algorithms are ideally written per data element, and this is called a kernel. Data parallelism is achieved through a hierarchy of independent threads and blocks on the grid. All threads on the grid can communicate through high latency global memory. There's also the block concept, which uh, further divides the grid. Threads inside a block can be synchronized, and threads inside a block can also communicate through low latency shared memory although this memory is a lot smaller than the global memory. That's it for this part. Do you have any questions?